We also have an ignition now under the deck, very near the door. If you look on this monitor, the, the left monitor, um, you can see now fire spreading up the door. Uh, we now have siding on fire uh, on the side of the house. We have fire underneath the deck, and you can see how quickly, quickly this spreads. Uh, we're in the test chamber, I guess you would call it. But, Absolutely. Uh, we're at the test chamber here in Richburg, South Carolina uh, at, for the at Insurance IDHS. Institute for Business and Home Safety. So in this chamber right here, we can generate winds as much as 140 miles an hour. We do a lot of testing on hurricanes and wind-driven rain. Today, that uh, all of that power is getting turned towards wildfire. So we'll be generating those embers that drive so much of the fire ignitions that we see in wildfire fire events. Uh, the winds today probably only 20-25 miles an hour that we put in motion, but you're going to see just how these embers pick up and loft and move down that road towards um, this home. And you'll see two different ways that it's constructed in this duplex uh, today. Um, one that has the best practices that we know that put in a whole series of defenses against wildfires. And another one that is an often kind of typical um, cabin style building that people would like to have because they love the way it looks and the way it feels. Uh, but it's highly susceptible to wildfire. Okay, uh, previously, um IBHS has tested uh, what the effects of hailstorms and simulated hurricanes, and I, I remember there was a lot of science that went into making the hailstones because you wanted them to, absolutely to be as as, as authentic and close to the real thing as possible. So you tried seltzer water and tap water and all these different things. Did, did that much go into creating these embers? So it does. And so very different science, obviously, on what we're creating on hailstones. In this case, you take a walk over and look at this. Um, there are ember generators and we see that embers come in different kinds of shapes and sizes. They can be the small spark you might see uh, when you're roasting a marshmallow at a campfire. They can be the size of a thumbnail or a thumb, the size of a hand. And so we'll generate those very different profiles of embers that will pick up and loft and the wind will just take and do that so the science here is making sure it resembles what we've seen on the ground we go out uh, we were out in Paradise California after that wildfire uh, this past fall and you'll see those same kind of attributes in place and then the way things are constructed here is really the place where the science has come to bear here we know what kind of wall siding, what kind of windows, what kind of doors, what you need to do in your gutters, the attic vents as well as the crawl space vents. All of that is where the science is going to be on full display today. Jack is also configured uh, to uh, resist ember ignitions um, and we have our five foot non-combustible zone of material with our rock mulch that surrounds that side. Uh, we did have a report there from the, the chamber team as we have fire in the attic now. Uh, we will probably suppress here shortly. We had a question of if we've seen any windows break. The window on the front side still looks intact from the camera angles we have. Uh, it wouldn't shock me if the window facing us in the chamber, that's a lot of intense heat right now. Uh, it still looks intact. We can't tell if it's cracked or not uh, from here in our vantage point.